Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. So one set they have given to us, which is a subset of R2, and we have to prove that it is not a compact set. So let me write the given set first. So what we have, we have, we have this set A is equal to x y belongs to R2, right? Such that x square minus y square is equal to one. So we know that this is equation of hyperbola. So let me draw the hyperbola. See, this is x-axis. This one is y-axis. So we have a hyperbola of this type. Okay. So this hyperbola we have, and we have to prove that it is not a compact subset of R two, and obviously with a Euclidean distance. Okay. So let me write here to prove that to prove that A is not compact. we have to prove that it is not compact in r2d so when we say the set is compact if every open cover has a finite sub cover then we say the set is compact so this is a definition of compact set see but there is one more result in r2 specific, uh, specifically in rn okay so in r2d so that result is a is compact a is compact if and only if a is closed and a is bounded okay so it means if the set is compact if a is compact then it is closed and it is bounded as well as if you have a is closed and bounded subset of r2 then also you can say it is compact but see now here we have to prove that the set is not compact that means we have to prove either the set is not closed then also we say the set is not compact getting or if set is not bounded then also we can say the set is not compact so here we are going to prove that given set a is not bounded so from this diagram also you can easily guess it is not bounded it is going to infinity getting on all sides it is going to infinity so that's why i'm going to prove that the set a is not bounded let me mention here we will prove that we will prove that a is not bounded okay so let me remove all this part so we will have some more space to write right okay see that means what we have to prove exactly we have to prove the set is not bounded that means we have to prove that is to prove that a is not a subset of b 0 0 r for all r greater than 0 what is meaning of that you know that this is a uh, open ball it represents a open ball with center 0 0 and radius r so for every r for all r greater than 0 if a is not subset of such ball then we say the set is not bounded get it so this thing we have to prove so you know that tell me when we say a is subset of b or how we prove a is subset of b we take one point from a and we prove that that point in b then we say a is subset of b right so here we have to prove that a is not subset of this ball it means we have to find one point p belongs to a but we have to prove that that point does not belongs to that ball getting this ball then we say the a is not subset of this ball so the same thing i am going to do i am going to find one point which is in a but which is not in b okay so let me write here let r greater than 0 be given i am taking any r any positive real number r so let xy is equal to i am choosing one point now xy which is square root of 1 plus r square r it is an element of r2 since it has two components so with the help of this r i i am considering this point xy right it is defined in this way so now my target is to prove this point xy is in a but it is not in this ball right so let us start to prove so here here x is equal to the i am comparing the first component x is equal to root 1 plus r square and y is equal to r okay so let us check this condition okay let me remove this part and we have this space so let us use it 
to write the remaining part of this problem okay let us check this condition now consider x square minus y square what is our x this one let us put its value there so root 1 plus r square square minus y square what is y r so it is r square so what will happen that square and square root will get cancelled to each other we will have 1 plus r square and this minus r square so now r square minus r square will get cancelled and we will have 1 only it means we get x square minus y square is equal to 1 condition is satisfied so con this point satisfies the condition of a so therefore i can declare so therefore i can say that point x y belongs to a right that point x y belongs to a so now i have to prove that point x y does not belong to this ball okay so what will we do uh, we will find the distance of that point from the center of ball let us find consider consider okay let me remove this diagram it is not required now so we will have some more space to write right so let us find the distance of point x y from the center of ball which is 0 0 so you know the distance formula square root of first component minus first component square plus second component minus second component square so it is obviously square root of this is x minus 0 x x square plus y minus 0 y y square let us put these values of x and y there so this is equal to square root of x is root 1 plus r square square plus what is y r so it is r square this is equal to square root of square square root will get cancelled 1 plus r square plus this r square that means what will you get 1 plus 2 r square so obviously it is greater than root 2 r square i removed this one so value is reduced so let let us remove 2 also so again it is greater than root r square right square square root cancel so this is equal to r so therefore what is our conclusion we started with this one d of x y 0 0 right we got here strictly greater than r so distance of that point from the center of ball is greater than its radius if distance of point from the center is greater than radius that means that point lies outside a ball let me write that thing just make a screenshot of it so therefore i can write here therefore that point x y does not belong to that ball getting with center 0 0 radius r since distance of that point from the center of ball is greater than its radius so we got that point lies in a let me write here so therefore let me write clearly so we got a point x y which is in a but it is not in ball but x does not belong to that ball with center 0 0 radius r right so therefore a is not a subset of that ball okay so a is not subset of ball so therefore we say and this is true for every r greater than zero since we chosen we had chosen that r is any positive real number so that's why it is true for every r greater than zero so therefore we can write therefore a is not a bounded subset of r2 it is not bounded subset of r2 so therefore i can directly declare therefore a is not compact therefore a is not compact so here i use the result that in r2d with euclidean distance getting a set is compact if and only if it is closed and bounded that's re this result i used to solve this example so the uh, solution is over just make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you